Hey guys, today's video is going to be a review on the Rapashi Grub Pie. Um, this is rather new and um, it's been around for a few months. Uh, it just came into Japan a few months ago as well and I've heard a lot of reviews about it so I went ahead and got some uh, for myself and I figured I'd um, re make a review on it um, while I'm at it. So. Uh, by the way, this is my very first review video, so let me know what you think about it in the end. And without further ado, let's just get started. So I'm going to be making the grub pie uh, pretty soon, but before I do get started with that, I just want to mention that if you do make it, you want to use a small little tupper or a medium sized one, unless you have like a whole room of reptiles and amphibians and stuff. and. Uh, you want to have it for a long time, maybe a big one would do, but for the majority I think a small one or a medium sized one is enough. Um, but in this video I'm going to be using a small one for the ease of footage and everything else. So you're going to also need a tupper, a uh, tablespoon, a cup if needed, and uh, chopsticks or something to mix the powder with. Uh, and that's about it. Um, when you make it, you'd want to use hot water. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I threw the uh, rapashi in the fridge for a few hours or so, and it came out a little bit too watery this time, um, but it's only the third time I made this, so it's not like I'm any sort of pro um, of making this, but I'm sure I'll get the hand of it sooner or later. Either way, um, you guys will get used to it too. The first two times it came out a little better, better than this, but... It's not like they won't eat it, even if it's a little gooey. Uh, but you'd want to cut them or smash them into um, sizes where your herbs could eat. And uh, I'm gonna go test it out on some of the reptiles and amphibians that I keep and see the majority of how many of them will eat the rapashi. And this could give you an idea and hopefully you guys can think for yourselves so I'm going to start with my leopard gecko.
Okay, so I finished feeding 14 uh, reptiles and amphibians just now. Uh, I do have a couple more that I didn't show you, like the marble newts or the Tokyo salamander, which ate the grub pie uh, before. So I do know they will eat it. So everyone but the uh, grass lizards mainly ate the grub pie, uh, which is really good. And the majority of those reptiles that ate it is the mainstream uh, bearded dragons or leopard geckos and African fat-tailed geckos. So if you do keep them, I think it might be a good shot to try this out. Uh, it would be nicer if they had like a, a thing where you can get a cheap one a really small one to test it out instead of such a big thing for 30 bucks or so. It might be cheaper in other countries. It's about 30 bucks here. Anyway, um, I think it's a great uh, product. If anything, 90% of the reptiles did eat it. And in fact, in the past, I did feed my uh, grass lizards this before and they did eat it. Uh, the, one of the babies ate it too. So... I mean, that just leaves one baby and the dorsalis that didn't eat it. So, I mean, only two of the reptiles that I keep hasn't eaten the grub pie, and that's really cool. I mean, if anything, I'd recommend this, especially if you keep a lot of reptiles. It'll help out a lot. If you keep, like, only one or two, I don't know, maybe you might have to think about it a lot more. But if they do eat it, then it will help you a lot, uh, out a lot. If they don't eat it, you could use it for your crickets or feeder insects and keep them well fed and with full of protein for your lizards. Uh, but either way, I think it's a great product. I give it an A at least. I mean, if you do see it around, I, I talk to the breeder or the shop that sells them and talk a bit about it. Um, they probably do know more about this product more than me. Uh, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.